So, back to you now, regarding a little bit more the left hand. What happened with the technique? I really think that every piece is easy, or all of them are easy. I like to think about complicated pieces, but not about difficult. But don't forget, when the brain acknowledges that something is difficult, it's similar, psychologically seen, as if our brain understands that a certain situation is dangerous. So when you think, I'm going to go out now to stage, on stage and perform a difficult piece, you are reducing your potential. So, what is our goal? What is the goal, really? Is to simplify, to finish with all difficulties. So, <clears throat> when I go out on stage, we have to believe that all works we are performing are uh, the goals have been got and the piece belongs to me and it is easy from the technical point of view, from the musical point of view as well. All rhetorical pictures, every emotions have to be already under the, your skin in order to, to come out of the flex. Difficulties are made by the human being. The music doesn't understand any difficulty. So, one of the passages that have brought into, you know, the guitarist into a lot of trouble is the famous passage that's shifting here. And also the right hand, coming back to our basic uh, hand-producing sound. I think, as I said before, that the pressure is the most used position in the performance and the scales, when we have two or more notes on one string, in Apoyando, for example, have to be very well achieved in order that when the moment comes, we can do it. But in this case, we're talking about the pressure. And we know that these two fingers are together with the same tendons. And the regularity is not really ensured. That's why the best would be to prepare. As you can see, so you have no worries about searching the string and then on top of this, plucking it regularly. So I'm talking about you could prepare together with the P. That's one of the rules, one of the principles which are applicable for every guitarist. As we have been built, you know, physiognomically talking, in the same way, everyone has a thumb on this side, everyone has a longer middle finger than all the others. If you consider this, we need to have some rules that are applicable for everyone. There are particularities. Some people have a smaller hand or more bright or longer or thinner or whatever. But something has to be general. And some of the general things is that this shift is noisy. No, noise were not in, written in the score. And if I go... Here you are. You can do it then at any speed. So... And it's easy, so you wouldn't have the noises. You didn't hear that the basses were stopped. We have, you know, we have to use the resonance of the instruments and to use the illusory illusion of the legato, that most of the time is what is really important. So traditional fingering is following pattern. That time is over. So with the demanding of the market today, it is impossible to keep on thinking that we have to uh, repeat the same pattern here and never change it. One example of this is the famous we have this obviously every time every bar is a different pattern here in the right hand but our right hand should be as good as um, being able to change every time our brain is able to learn it so it's the challenge of the guitarist to develop the skills in order to have a fluent passage in this way. So, for the good of the music, we need to go deeper in the research of how really to improve our technique in order to support the musical ideas in the best way possible.